Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you how you can upload a single player world to your Minecraft server as to buy Elixir node. So to do this, I'm going to create a brand new world. I'm going to call it just world. It doesn't matter what you name your world, but I'm just going to call it world for convenience. I'm going to create the world and then this is the world here. Completely blank world. That's the seed there if anyone is interested. So now since this world is single player, I've got to get it onto multiplayer. So I'm going to save and quit the world. Make sure my Elixir node server has been stopped as well. Make sure it's stopped there. Open up your FTP connection to the Elixir node server. If you want to learn how to get an FTP connection to your server, see connecting to your server via your FTP, the article. So once you're in the base directory, I haven't started the server, so I don't have any files here. If you do have a world file, make sure you delete it. One thing you need to know is the name of the world. So on the hosting right here, it says world here is the default name for it. So that's what we're going to call it. I'm on Linux right now. So the directory to get it is you go to slash home and then slash your username, like I'm in here. And then you have the dot Minecraft. If you're on Windows, you want to hit the Windows key and R, type in percent a p p d a t a percent go to the roaming folder and then go to the dot minecraft and if you're on mac you just go to the slash home slash username slash dot minecraft as well if you're on windows and you want to do this you go to c colon backslash users backslash your username backslash app data backslash roaming and then backslash dot minecraft you can just type in the percent a p p d a t a percent and then go to your roaming folder and then the dot minecraft once you're in your home directory here and you're in your ftp client you open up your saves you can see the world that we created right here you're going to want to rename this world to make sure it matches the name you have on the hosting right here the default world and you have to make sure the version's correct as well so we started in minecraft 1.12.2 and running the version 1.12.2 on the jar once you have all those details correct the name and the version of the world all you have to do is just click and drag the world into your hosting and again if you want to do this see connecting your server via the ftp client and then after a few seconds the world is uploaded there is one more thing you have to do to make sure you don't run into any problems down the line you open up the world folder and then you'll see a folder inside of it called player data. Just simply delete that folder. It contains all your single player information. And um, if you do delete this folder, deleting that folder will make you lose your inventory. You can try your luck with it, but I've had a lot of problems with getting it working in the past. Uh, every time you try to load it in the server, it always wants you to delete that. Once the world is loaded, all you have to do is go to your Elixir node panel, start your server, check out your console. And then after a few seconds, your world starts and then you can connect to the IP. And this is the exact same world we started on prior. If I go to the console and then I type in the command seed, as you can see, it's the same seed as it was before. I hope this has been informative and thank you for watching.